Tomorrow, Notre Dame embarks on its first true test and first true road game of the year when they take to Carter Finley Stadium here in Raleigh. Now, it only holds about 60,000 people, but NC State is known as a wary place for opponents to play, and that's why it's important for Marcus Freeman and the Irish to get off to a fast start. The Irish have scored touchdowns on all nine first half drives through the first two games against Navy and Tennessee State. While defensively, they still haven't given up a touchdown. And when asked what has allowed his team to produce those results, Freeman said it's been a full body of work. I wish I can point to one thing, but it's an entire operation, you know, and, and hopefully there, it's just win the interval one play at a time, you know, and, and hopefully when you do that, you're nine for nine on scoring drives in the first half of your first two games. And so that's what I got to continue to just to get them to understand is that it isn't a 28 game win streak for the ACC. It isn't nine for nine on first halves of the first two games. It's just one play, right? One play. Do I do my job um, on that play? And then we got to go to the next play. And hopefully the result of that is another really good first half. Freeman added the first half barrages have given Notre Dame confidence and a sigh of relief to go and emphatically finish those first two games. But he said quick starts don't always happen and that at come noon tomorrow, the pressure ramps up in a hostile environment for the first time this season and with the possibility for showers and storms in the forecast. Now that's an environment the Irish are familiar with having played here in 2016 in a 10-3 loss for Notre Dame in the middle of Hurricane Matthew. Reporting in Raleigh, Bennett Wise, WSBT 22 Sports. I'm Pete Byrne from WSBT 22 News. For more Notre Dame stories, like and subscribe to the WSBT 22 YouTube page. Thanks for watching.